Hey guys, I'm Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up? It's great to see you. So just a few things I wanted to talk about before we get into the readings uh, for the first half of May. Um, these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, I'm telling the story as I see it, and I'm reading for a bunch of different people. So if something is resonating with you, but I'm not exactly telling the story as it specifically goes for your situation, just take the elements that you feel resonate and place them where you feel that they go, okay? And if something, if you hear something and it doesn't resonate with you, please don't try and make it fit. Just let it go and you know continue rolling on with the story until you reach another point where th that resonates with you and place that where it goes for you. Yes, um, I am available for private readings. Uh, if you would like to get a reading with me, my email address and the description of the readings that I offer currently are found in the description box below. Um, Please go ahead and email me and you know we can get something set up. I am very, very happy to help you guys out in this way and help you get clarity on whatever situations you are facing in your life. Um, unfortunately, I will not be taking any more questions from Instant Go at this time. Um, Instant Go is a great service. If you have a quick question you want to ask, I highly recommend you do so through Instant Go. And that Instant Go is an iPhone app. But for me, I don't have an iPhone. I have an iPad, but I don't travel with that. Um, and my schedule is so busy and crazy that I don't always have time or even remember, to, to be quite honest, to check Instant Go. And so a lot of those, a few people have sent me questions and I completely miss it. And by the time I actually do get to it, the question's been deleted. And if that is you, I highly apologize. Instant Go just is not um, the best avenue for me at this time. So if you would like to get a reading with me, I encourage you to email me and we will set something up that way. Um, a bit of good news, I will be reading um, in person at Om Shanti Bookstore in the East Village of Manhattan. So if you guys are in the five boroughs or you are visiting, um, New York City, I encourage you guys to come see me. Yay! We can meet in person and have a little chat and whatnot. Um, have our a, a conversation, yeah? Uh, the, even, I'm sorry, the uh, website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box below as well. Just go to the website and um, you can, you know, get the address and all that. I will be there every Monday from 11 to 5. I will not be there uh, Monday, May 7th because May 6th is my birthday and I'm gonna have some fun, right? So uh, thank you to Rakesh for <laughs> giving me the day off because I, I, I'm probably gonna need it. Just throwing it out there. Um, let's see, I believe that's it. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the reading. Hey Libra, so let's get into this for you uh, for the first part of May, 1st to the 15th, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do this. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Libra at this time, for this time period of May 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Libra, let's get some shuffling in here for you and let's see what we've got. Libra. Libra. Ooh. All right. Um, I want to shuffle one more time for you guys. Libra. Okay. There it is. So let's cut the deck and let's see what we have for you. All right, Libra. Overall energy, the all gifted. Now, this card is unique to this deck. This is the Tarot Apocalypsis deck. And all the all gifted is depicted as Pandora with her box. 
when, um, and, and this talks about knowing your inner worth, knowing the true value that your soul brings to this planet and to this existence and to this time period, sharing your gifts, knowing and being confident in your gifts and sharing them for the betterment of others and also for the benefit of yourself too. But this is the, in, in the positive aspect, it is sharing for the benefit of all involved and all around for the highest good of all. When this is negatively aspected, it's the exact opposite, being fearful, not being sure of yourself, not, not sharing your gifts with the world, um, being afraid to share your gifts of, with the world. But here it's upright. And so Libra, you're coming to, I, I feel like a lot of you are coming to terms with your own gifts, what you, what you bring to this world as an individual. And you're getting to the point where you're starting to allow yourself to share Okay, because we have the five of swords here. That is in reverse, so I love to see that. We also have the two of swords here in reverse. I love to see that as well. And bam, da -dee, bam, bam, we've got the four of wands, and it is upright. Excellent. The four of wands upright is absolutely corroborating that you are coming to a point, Libra, where you are not afraid or not ashamed of your gifts anymore. You are releasing this twisted uh, masculine energy. This card, the Five of Swords, represents um, um, twisted or... Um, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um, well, negatively aspected masculine energy. Overly aggressive, um, extremely combative... Um, and just not healthy, self-defeating situations. And this this is definitely how you may have been treating yourself in not honoring your gifts and being afraid to, to share yourself. And I really feel like for some of you Libras, you were really vicious with yourself in relation to you know who you truly are. And that is absolutely an aspect of the overly controlling and twisted masculine view, which is very much a part of our society and in that we are in a patriarchal society right now so um you know and a lot of that is twisted in nature and so it was it's a reflection of you know what you learn from the external world and how you may have been treating yourself when it comes to your own truth and with the two of swords here you're no longer between a rock and a hard place you're no longer conflicted you're no longer choosing not to see who you truly are and you, you know that it's time for you to step out and be who you truly are and with the four of wands here which is upright you have a great foundation to do this from libra excellent Moving forward in your story, we have the moon in reverse with the ace of swords in reverse. So, um, interesting. The, the moon in reverse, uh, the first thing I felt and I heard when I saw the moon in reverse was that you're no longer lying or hiding to yourself. But actually, this is exactly what this means. You're no longer lying to yourself with the ace of swords in reverse. The moon in reverse and the ace of swords, okay? You're not, you, no, no. You're not going to accept these false truths about you, about yourself, any longer, okay? It's time to move forward because you know what the truth is. In the past, you know, you have been, you have been um, misleading yourself is what I've been told, what I just heard. And you're choosing not to do that anymore, okay? We also have the Prince or the Knight of, Wand of Swords with... The Ace of Wands. So yeah, this person you are, or this person, if you're like, say, if you're cross watching for a Libra, uh, this person is taking up the torch and is ready to go. They are moving quickly. They are doing it with a fury and a passion. I'm really feeling like this is kind of a little. I'm feeling a little bit of Five of Swords energy here, um, but it's more more just a cautionary tale. Okay, you have every right, Libra to move forward passionately with this newfound sense of self. And you have every right to defend yourself should someone come around and try and knock you down. But at the same time, don't go looking for a fight either, right? That's not what this is about. This is about speaking your truth, standing in your authenticity, and standing in your power for the betterment of all, 
remember, for the highest good of all, not just so that you can run around cutting people down because you can't. Okay, so just be careful with that. Next, oof, the King of Cups in reverse with the Hierophant in reverse. So there is a little bit of emotional unavailability here. Um, there could be emotional manipulation. There could have been someone around you. Well, okay, yes, this is talking about somebody around you that has been emotionally manipulating you. Um, this could be society. And remember, I was talking about this patriarchal society, and actually that is being repeated in my head because that's the message here with the Hierophant in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse. Um, the Hierophant is a society, is um, a convention, a, a standards of operating, okay? Um, <clears throat> doing things a certain way because it's socially acceptable. But that comes from what, we, what I was saying before, twisted masculine energy. Okay, the King of Cups in reverse. Um, manipulation and controlling, not for the betterment of, this, of the, uh, the good of all, but for the gain of the individual in power. Okay, and so that is where most of this situation has been stemming from for you, Libra. This is what has influenced you to misguide yourself and to lie to yourself even with the Ace of Swords and the Moon in reverse. All right, moving forward, we have Judgment in reverse with the Eight of Swords. Okay, so some of you are still in trepidation about this. You're feeling a, a call towards ascension. You're feeling and hearing a call towards um, expansion, but you feel trapped in some way. In some mental, in some mental way, you do feel trapped somehow. Um, and what I'm, what I'm really picking up here is what's happening is you're coming to terms with your truth, with your inner self, with who you truly are and what you have to bring to this world. Um, you're seeing how you have been lying to yourself and misleading yourself. You do have the inspiration of the Ace of Wands on a spiritual level, but um, you're still in the beginning stages of this. So you still feel a little bit trapped. I'm also picking up that this Eight of Swords energy is you trying to deal with the fact that you do, in, in some cases, Libra, you really do want to just go out there and start fucking shit up. <laughs> because, with the, with the Knight of Swords here, because you have this inspiration, because you're starting to see the truth behind all the lies, because the veil has been lifted for you, and there is a heavy dose of of divine anger behind a lot of what you're dealing with right now. But you understand, Libra, as a balanced individual, the balanced Libra that you are naturally, you understand that nothing is going to benefit from fighting fire with fire. You get it, Libra, but you are still hearing this calling. And so this is why it, the, the, the judgment is in reverse and you have this coupled with the Eight of Swords. You're like, what the fuck do I do now? <laughs> like, it was almost better to have that veil. Like, in, in, like ignorance is bliss in some way. But no, it's not bliss because I was, I mean, I was so, yeah, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I get it, Libra. I totally get it. Don't worry, okay? Just rest. Relax for a second. Take a second to just, like, let things flow for a moment, all right? Moving forward, we have the Four of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Very interesting. Um, I'm picking up for some of you, Libra, there is a feminine energy within your life that has also been influencing this in you. And for some of you, the Four of Pentacles is saying that you may be holding on to this relationship a little bit too much. Or there is a feminine energy, whether it, it whether they are... Um, whether they are manifest in a, ma a male body or a female body, it doesn't matter. We're talking about a feminine energy here. Um, you could be holding on to this too tight. They could be holding on to you too tight. I'm feeling smother energy here. Um, you may also be doing this to yourself. What I'm also picking up here is some of this um, Eight of Swords energy is around the fact that you were lying or misleading yourself in the past as a defense mechanism. That could be how the smothering aspect is coming through here. Um, 
there also you may also be holding on to some sort of karmic relationship libra um, which would also put you in the eight of swords energy because you're hearing a calling to move away from this relationship but you're not allowing yourself to is what i'm picking up and that is mainly because why of convention the hierophant doing things that are socially acceptable look Look, I'll be real with you, Libra. Fuck social convention. Fuck social acceptance. Embrace authenticity, Libra. Be you. The all gifted. You know who you are. So be it. And if people don't like it, fuck them. All right? Ooh. <laughs> all right, Libra. Two of Pentacles in reverse with death. In reverse. All right. So you're, yeah, we're talking about this resistance here, uh, this resistance to transformation here, because things are, 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 because things are being thrown out of balance in your material world. And as a Libra, that is not something you are comfortable with. I mean, we're talking about the material and you are an air sign. So your realm is more in the mental situations, but even any sort of imbalance for you is just not comfortable. And so that's why there's a bit of resistance here to this transformation or what is represented by death you're uh, in a way you're a little bit you're you may be losing a little bit of faith in the universe just because you don't really understand how all of this is going to play out and it's so funny because i was just talk. i did a reading a, a private reading for someone a, a, i want to say last weekend and she's a triple libra sun moon and rising and one of the messages that was coming through for her is that look things are going to change and you're not always going to know what's going to happen. You can't all, you cannot control how things play out. You're not always going to have all the answers. You're not always going to have all the answers, Libra. You just have to go with the flow. And you have to all you can do is make sure that you stay in a place where you know that you are balanced within your mind, your body, your spirit, your emotions, and your mental outlook. All you can keep control over is your personal domain. Other than that, you damn right there's chaos. You damn right. The universe is built on chaos to a certain extent. You just got to roll with that, Libra. And I feel like that's a major life lesson for you right now. And that's also what's putting you, that is absolutely what's putting in you in this eight of swords state when it comes to the judgment call or the ascent, uh, call towards ascension that you are hearing. I'll say it again. You do not always need all the answers. You will not always get all the answers. So just roll with it. Yeah? Next, we have the wheel. Excellent. And it's upright. So while you may be in resistance to this transformation for a little bit, you're still allowing the wheel to turn. And the wheel is turning in your favor, favor Libra, with the six of pentacles in reverse. So here we go. We're talking about... Society and this came out right underneath the Hierophant and the King of Cups, which are both in reverse Six of Pentacles is about balance between give and take and there is a seasonal change that's going on for you Libra in the sense that you are taking your power back You are recognizing who you are and what you have to bring to this world and you're allowing your inner self to flow and from there that is facilitating a balance between give and take for you. You are changing your seasons. You are changing the cycle. You are moving towards a new and better cycle that will bring you um, balance in giving and receiving. Okay, You will finally be connecting with people that will give back to you the value that you give to them. And, and value, I mean, that, that word just struck a huge chord with a lot of you, Libra value. It's not about qual quantity. It's about quality. You don't have to give me 10 different gifts. You can give me one or maybe two good gifts. Ah, okay, sure. We can make it three, but only, but, but it's only going to mean something to you if they have deep value. And that's really what you're looking for. That is what you're seeking. And that is what you're moving towards Libra. Yeah. Value, value, value. Excellent. Finally, for you, Libra, we have the Three of Pentacles, which is upright, and we have, oof, the Fool in reverse. 
Um, the Fool in Reverse is not a bad thing, actually. And when it's coupled with the Three of Pentacles here, this is talking... The, the Three of Pentacles said to me... The first thing it said to me was um, working with yourself, okay? And so with the, with the Fool in Reverse, okay, there are some of you that this is speaking to um, your resistance towards this transformation and taking this leap of faith. But the other thing I'm getting here is that you are not being foolish about life anymore in the sense that you have chosen to work with yourself by yourself for yourself and you're not going to be foolish in the sense of allowing other people to drive your ship to drive your monolith i want to say is a monolith that one of those ships that sail through the air i think so <laughs> but yeah Excellent. But the one thing I do want to say about the Fool in Reverse is don't worry about taking a leap of faith because I'll say it with me, y'all. You're not always going to have all the answers. You just got to roll with it sometimes. Sometimes you just got to put on your big boy, big girl pants, strap up them boots, string, you know, strap up them, them boots and just get trucking. Even if you don't necessarily know how you're going to get there, but you still know the direction you want to go into, just get moving. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. There it is, Libra. Thank you so much for joining me. I I am very happy to, to be able to do this for all of us. This is this brings me so much fulfillment. So thank you guys. Um, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the second half of May. I wish you all the best. So much love and blessings to you all. Take care. Bye bye.